Roll it. Go. All right, it is Friday today. We got our cardigans on. Let's go, Matt. Let's start with some stories. I want to talk about sports and start the weekend. I want to talk about more sports, and happy Cardigan Friday to everyone out there. Stay sports smart. Sports! Let's start it off with some NCAA basketball. Okay. For Saturday, probably one of the greatest Saturdays of basketball we've had this year so far. There's so many games I want to watch, I don't know how I'm going to watch them all. First one I'm going to talk about is my one of my teams. Notre Dame is playing at Marquette, and a win for Marquette really gives them a great chance at finishing first or second in the conference to give them a first-round buy in the conference tournament, which would be huge for them. And they also have Georgetown and Syracuse playing against each other in the last game of the regular season. So if Georgetown were to lose to Syracuse, that could give them a chance at finishing first overall because Marquette has a pretty easy schedule after Notre Dame on Saturday. I'm picking Marquette to win 72-67. They're at home. They have a, over a 20-game win streak at home. They should be able to pull this one out, I think. All right, let's go to Louisville and Syracuse. What's going on over here? Louisville, Syracuse. Winner of this game keeps themselves in contention for the Big East title. Syracuse is on a skid right now. Louisville is on a tear, winning seven of their last eight. Their only loss is when they lost in that five-overtime game against Notre Dame, which was crazy. Incredible. Louisville pulls this one out 75-71. Good call. Next game I'm going to talk about, Butler is playing at VCU. This is another great game. Winner still has a chance at the regular season Atlantic 10 title. The other team that's involved with that is St. Louis. And I think that VCU is actually going to be able to pull out the win here, 76-69. Butler's been playing a little bit weaker lately. VCU has been doing pretty well. And our last game, Kansas State at Baylor. Baylor needs a win versus an RPI top 25 team to boost them into the tourney right now. They're a bubble team. They're sitting outside looking in. So they need to get a win if they want to solidify themselves to get into the tournament. Now, again, winning against Kansas State would be huge and would probably almost guarantee them in because nice. Kansas State is a top 20 RPI team. But unfortunately, Baylor's lost six of the last nine and lost by 20 to Kansas State a few games ago. So I'm picking Kansas State to win 76-64. March Madness Nightmare! <laughs> This week has been crazy. Crazy. March Madness Nightmare. Hashtag tweet it out whenever you see an upset go on. So we're uh, we're done with the court here. Let's move over to the ice. What's going on in the NHL right oh, now? Oh, well, the ice, Ben. I'm going to kick it over to Boston. Okay. okay. Uh, Tuka, Boston. Tuka Rusk. <laughs> Tuka Rask is 10-1-2 for the season. He has a .930 save percentage. Incredible. Just killing it right now, and he's obviously filling the spot for Tim Thomas. But um, is this really the key to the Bruins' success? I don't know, but uh, Brad Merchand, he's doing great up there in winger. Uh, he's got 10 goals and 3 assists for the season. Uh, I would really like to see them play the Hawks. Next in the NHL, I'm going to kick it over to New Jersey now. Um, Martin Brodeur, he has soreness. And was placed on the IR list. They say he might play, get back to the Devils on Monday. They don't know yet, but we're going to see what the number seven Devils do without him. Seventh in the Eastern Conference right now. They definitely need some wins to stay afloat in the playoff picture. Oh, yeah. What are a couple of games you got to watch for this weekend, Matt? All right, I'm going to kick it off with straight to Saturday. We got Senators at Flyers. We got Lightnings at Bruins. We got Ducks at the Coyotes. I would love to see the Coyotes take out the Ducks. They already pulled out one of your upsets. They're, call they're a team killer. They got Vancouver in Vancouver, and now they're in Phoenix. We're going to see how they do at home. Next game, Predator at, Predators at Sharks, and then we're going to go to Sunday. we got a great game, Blues at Stars. Um, they're, t they're both tied at 22 points. We're going to see. That'll be a nice matchup. Nice, even matchup, and then the Canadians and Bruins finish it off. And What? There we go. Throwing it to MLB. Let's hear it, Ben. All right. So as you guys all know, the spring training has started. And, Matt, I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little baseball fever come here this spring. I'm, I'm ready excited. for baseball to start. I'm ready for some highlights. So I already decided to take a look and to see what the power rankings are for the spring training before the season started. And our top five teams are the Giants, the Nationals, the Tigers, the Angels, and the Jays. Blue Jays. And to round off, who would win all the divisions then? The Reds are in seventh, so they would win the NL Central. The rest of those teams would win their own divisions. And 
couple of things. Angels and Jays made some big pickups this season. That's why they moved up into the top five this year as compared to last year. They weren't near the top five. They were probably maybe in the top 15, top 20. Angels got Josh Hamilton and Jason Vargas. He's a great pitcher to add to their rotation. The Jays went crazy this offseason on acquisitions. They picked up Jose Reyes, R.A. Dickey, Mark Burley, Josh Johnson, and Melky Cabrera. That's amazing. I can't wait to see how they're going to play together because that's a lot of stars on the same team. If they don't perform well, it'll be a very big disappointment to the MLB and all the fans watching. So, Matt, I decided to get you a little present here, but I uh, forgot to wrap it up, unfortunately. So, uh, here you go. <laughs> wrap it up. Speaking of that, let's do the 30-second wrap-up right now. What a great High idea. Five. Yep. Woo! Cardigan Friday, 30 seconds. Let's do it. In the NFL, Jermichael Finley won't accept a pay cut to stay a Packer. Would consider restructuring his contract. Cano, don't you know, the Yankees are begging to have him. They offer him $15 million for the year. Lamar Odom adds to the list of airball free throws this year. Watch the clip right here. Tiger Woods, he hits an amazing water shot. Check this clip out. For our last clip, Monte Ellis hits an unbelievable three-pointer against the Rockets to win the game. Wow. All right, thank you for watching our video. We appreciate it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything we talked about is in the description below. Sharing is caring. Spread the word of our video. And we hope you have a fantastic Cardigan Friday. Anything you want to say, Ben? We will see you on Monday. Do you know what's better than sports? What's better than sports, man? Nothing. Mm -hmm. But you know what true. comes in second? What comes in second? Lava lamps. That is true. Lava lamps do come in second.